Hi, this is Karen Phillip again from the Caves Beach Early Learning Centre. I said to you that I would put another, um, another post up when we got our assessment. Well, we've only received our very first draft of our assessment. So it's a long way from the final assessment, apparently. Anyway, in the, uh, in the first draft, um, which we only received a few days ago, we got meeting in pretty much every, or well, most all areas, exceeding in a few areas, and one working towards in regards to a staff qualification. Now, I believe I can get that overturned because I do have quite a number of emails that um, I've had back and forth to a CEQA over the last probably 18 months, 12 to 18 months, in regards to this specific um, quality area, I think it's 4.1. It's in regards to, now if we were anywhere else in Australia other than New South Wales, we would have got exceeding. But because we're in New South Wales, uh, and the advice that I had been given from a CEQA that appeared to be now incorrect, we were marked at working towards that one particular area, which is the only working towards we got in our entire assessment. As I say, because I do have um, proof that we had requested correct information because we've been following the national regulations, as you know, we do, yet New South Wales had different regulations than the national regulations and national law that we're supposed to be all under. I tried to get it clarified. They did not clarify it correctly. We therefore took them at their word, their written word, by the way, and staffed ourselves accordingly. We've got, <coughs> pardon me, we've got two of our staff, diploma staff, that are currently finishing off their uh, teaching degrees, early childhood degrees, and we were under the impression, because we were told this, that that would be sufficient for our second teacher in our service. My husband, one of the other uh, owners, is also a primary school teacher who's been working within childcare for uh, well over six years. We were also told that anything over two years, he would also be recognised as a teacher. I have an early childhood teaching degree from overseas and I am diploma, I have a diploma qualification in Australia. I put in about three and a half years ago to have that qualification assessed. I'm still waiting on that, by the way. So I haven't, and, and I was told on about the third year when I rang up about three years ago, like, what is going on with this? That look, if you haven't heard anything to the contrary, then obviously your teaching qualification still stands. Now, what is interesting about these overseas teaching qualifications, I found out, was that unless your overseas university pays our government department a fee to have your overseas qualification recognised here, they won't recognise it. They can recognise it if push comes to shove, but they won't automatically recognise it. A university in like Sri Lanka, one in India, have paid that amount of money. However, if you're a graduate from Cambridge, if you're a graduate from Harvard or Yale, or even Lafayette University in America, which is a very high regarded university, none of you would be classified as a teacher under the department here. Because those universities obviously refuse to pay our department in Australia to recognise. As if you would need, to, at Yale University or Cambridge, would need to pay to have their university graduates recognised in Australia. It's very offensive, I find. So that's a little hold up with, with mine. I actually questioned that, and I questioned why they require a university to pay a fee to have their students recognised. Haven't heard back about that one either yet, so we'll see. But anyway, in regards to the first draft report, as I said, if I, I don't believe that our working towards in that one area will stand, However, if it happened to, for some strange reason, then the entire assessment would be marked as working towards. Now this is, we know the entire process of assessment is insane, ludicrous and completely illogical. We all know that. But it still makes most of us feel, our staff and directors feel so inept and, and, and disappointed that we've received perhaps a working towards. Now what's so farcical about this is that if a centre has received 90% um, exceeding, 9% uh, or 9.9% 9 .9 meeting and one working towards, they get working towards. If another centre gets working towards in 
every point, oh yeah, they're rated the same. Do I really need to go any further to convince anybody what a dumb, farcical, insane process this is? I don't think so. I think we all get that. The feedback that I offered the department on my form was about this much, or what I did is I went up and up and merged the next few sections, which I suggest you all do, and I filled in pretty much the entire two pages of feedback. Now, the feedback was rather severe. I indicated that the process was very long-winded, it was very inefficient, and it was completely ineffective. The difference between exceeding and meeting is basically two words, embedded and consistent. Now I've asked the department to explain, what I've written again to the Director General and the Ministers, to please explain to me how an assessor can possibly determine if what you're doing is consistent by attending one day. I'm waiting for their response. I'm sure they probably really don't know how to respond to that but I'm waiting for their response nonetheless and very interested in getting it. So the things that we found uh, in the assessment, which I will pass on, that you need to be pedantic on, which I'm sure you all are anyway, is the supervision, your policies, and your forms, such as enrolment and accident forms. The other thing was the induction, the family and child induction into your service. Now, these were the ones that our assessors were quite pedantic on. But, you know, any assessor can go anywhere they want, I guess. Now, I know Matt and Val and Centre Support want to change the way that the assessment clarifications are put down because they are too severe. Working towards, meeting, exceeding, and then to have everything brought down. It, you could get exceeding in every point, every point in your service, with one working towards, down you go, working towards. Now, again, so stupid and I would really like everyone to support Matt and Val in what they are doing to try and get this farcical situation overturned so it becomes somehow logic such as if you've got an assessment and 55% of your assessment is exceeding yet you get meeting or working towards in others then 55% is a pass you should be exceeding you don't need to get a hundred percent you don't need a hundred percent in anything to get a to get a pass but 51% even, but if they were very anal, as which they are, and they wanted you to get 75% exceeding, so be it. But to have all exceeding and one working towards, to take your whole rating to working towards, is ludicrous. But we know that. We know it lacks sanity and intelligence. What I would like to say to a lot of the directors is if you are employed, if you are working under a board, if you are working under um, a set of owners or an organisation, please show this to them. Let them see that it is not so much the good or bad that the director is doing, unless of course you get working towards in every area, then you've probably got to be questioned. But the directors and the staff need the support of the owners of their services. They have to have it. There, if you've got a service that is fairly full, if you've got parents that are happy, children that are happy, and staff that are happy and keen to come to work, then you are exceeding in every way. You are already exceeding. You don't need some idiotic, lame assessment process to tell you any different. And of course, it would be lovely for us to get that exceeding, wherever it is they put it, but you know what? We don't need it. If we know what we do and we know we're doing it so well, then believe in yourself. Empower yourselves and your staff. And if we empower ourselves and start standing up to the government and to this insane system, then only then will we generate enough momentum to ensure it's changed for the good of the system, the good of the service and the good of all of us that are involved in it because it's us that are involved in it. We are the system, simple as that. We know the process is flawed. So administrators need to recognise that their staff are doing a good job and their directors are doing a good job. And again, look at the books. Is the, is the centre running 
uh, efficiently? Is it running effectively? Are the numbers good? Are the parent responses good? Then if they are, then well done, congratulations, and yes, you are exceeding in everything you do. We just need to be really well aware of that. But I did mention in the past video that we had a, already, a, there was a preconceived notion that we picked up on when the assessors came in that we were getting meeting. We knew that because everything that they asked was straight down that middle line. Not, meet, not working towards, not exceeding, but straight down the middle line. I think I mentioned last time that it was only when I figured out what, what they were doing and the way they were asking us things that I swapped over, let the staff know what, they were, what I thought they were intending to do and said, whatever you do, whatever words you use, make sure you tell them why we do things, how we do things, that we do it consistently and how it is embedded in the program. It's embedded in our policies. It's embedded and consistently done with our children because they did it all so automatically. Our policies state that. Our staff state that. How in one day they can turn around and tell us that it wasn't embedded in our program and that it wasn't consistently done. I question that. I really do. So I'll be very interested to find out how they actually back that up because I don't think they can. How one day they can make that determination. So as I say, the difference between meeting and exceeding is basically a couple of words, embedded and consistent. Now we believed we showed it was embedded and consistent, but we still got many of our points were meeting, not exceeding, which I believe is flawed, but I guess a lot of services do believe that as well. We will let you know probably, and I don't know how long this process takes, probably a while, but we will be writing back to them. I'll be writing back to them next week in regards to that quality area 4.1, the only quality area we were challenged on. I will get, try and get that overturned, which I believe we will. But you know what? If we don't, I don't really care. I really don't. The staff do, and it's important to them. But I don't, because I believe it's such a farce. I don't really care what they say. I don't really care what they put out. And worst case scenario in a year, probably 18 months, they come back and do it again, then we're going to do everything exactly the same. My quip will probably be exactly the same with new dates, although I hope they don't hear that. Um, but nothing's going to change. Nothing. We do everything at optimum. We know we do. The staff know we do. Our parents know we do. The kids know we do. They're all happy. We're full. We're on budget. We exceed, and we exceed in every area. And if they're too stupid, to know that, well then that's their problem. It really isn't ours. And our parents don't care less what the rating is. They they've already told us that. They really don't care. They know us, they know what we do, and they know how to do things. So they're happy to say, well, we'll write in and we'll tell them. But it's like, you know what, it doesn't matter. It really doesn't matter. Because this whole process is so unimportant, who cares? So. Just lower your guard a little bit, everybody. Empower yourselves. Feel good about what you do and show them. And if these assessors that come out are too stupid and dumb to see that, then that's their problem, not yours. Keep doing the brilliant, amazing, wonderful job that you're all doing. Keep doing it for yourselves and for your families and children. And that's all you need to do. So I'll let you know in a few weeks what the final outcome is, but I don't really care. Thank you.